Hello and welcome back to part 31 of this challenge stream playthrough. So we made it to the end of the Gagazak Cave last time and next up is the boss fight against Sanctuary Keeper. Although, as I started thinking about this fight, I realized I maybe will need to pick up status protection for Photon Wings, for example on RN. Should have probably thought about that before making it through the cave. So, yeah, so First on Wings has a chance of inflicting sleep, confuse, and darkness. Darkness I don't care about. Sleep is 50% chance. Confuse is only 25% chance. Yeah, I didn't pick up any sort of status protection from um, Mandragora or Malbro or any of those sorts of enemies just passing through. All right, well that's that's okay. I can still do some testing. There's some stuff I need to actually check against Sanctuary Keeper that. It's going to just take a few attempts, I think. Uh, but yeah, I am I'm thinking I might want more status protection. I'm not sure I'm going to win this fight particularly quickly. I think it... I think it depends a little on ways I can inflict poison. So looking at the mix list... Um, I've already used all of the status inflicting grenade type mixes. There are still status mixes, or elemental status mixes, that I believe can inflict poison, but I, that's one of the things I need to actually check. So poison's especially good against Sanctuary Keeper in the sense that it both deals damage, um, obviously, but it also stops Sanctuary Keeper from casting Kiraga, which is otherwise a big issue. Yeah, so there's... There's two sets of status inflicting elemental mixes. One is the Brimstone, Electroshock, Aquatoxin, Black Ice set. And then I think a more powerful one is Abaddon Flame, Thunder Blast, Dark Rain, Krista. And I must admit, I don't recall ever using either set. So whether I can get poison inflicted, whether it's just too low an infliction rate, whatever statuses they inflict, I actually don't know. So I think I want to just have a complete test run where I literally just do that. So, okay, oh, Rico is full overdrive already. Um, let's take Rico out of the front line. There's no cutscene for this fight, which is very nice, so for testing things, it's it's fast. Um, let's see, there's some other stuff I want to test about this too. One thing is the conditions for Sanctuary Keeper to cast Protect instead of a Kiraga or a Suna. I'm just opening up Pete Bedman's guide, although I'm not sure... Yeah, so it has... Yeah, this is what Pete Bowman's guide says. The check for armor break status is first if Sanctuary Keep is over half health. And if he's under armor break, it will cast Protect on itself. Then it checks for Dark or Poison, and it will cast a Asuna. And if both those... Uh, if it doesn't need to cast either of those, it will just cast Kiraga. So I could definitely use Armor Break from Banishing Blade to waste another of its white magic turns, which is pretty nice. It's also vulnerable to all the breaks, even Power and Magic Break, which is interesting. And none of its attacks shatter... Yeah, none of its attacks shatter petrified characters, like they're all literally 0% shatter. 
So that's interesting because that actually gives me a way to survive, to have more characters survive photon wings, well, survive in a bit of a loose sense. <laughs> Not get KO'd, yeah. So that's something else to look at. I'm just trying to think if there's other stuff I can test as well as just that one mix or whether I'm just doing a fight purely for the mix testing. I think I'm just going to do a fight purely for the mix testing. So let's see. Um, I don't... Yeah, for the test it really doesn't matter which element I'm doing. So let's do... Just do bomb fragment plus status item. Uh, sure. Uh, Dream Powder is actually slightly more valuable, but this is just the test run, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, then tier 2 plus Dream Powder, or tier 3 plus lesser status. For the other series of mixes, I guess I can do... Let's see if this works. Tier 2 plus Dream Powder. Right, so this will be Brimstone, and this will be a bad and Flame. Alright. And I'm just going to switch First Stroke Titus in for Riku, and mix... Oh, I actually want to... Hmm. I want to actually see what statuses are inflicted. Yeah, so I want a Sensor character here. Uh, well... Assuming Aran doesn't get confused or KO'd, this will mean he gets a turn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anyone in SOS has his status right here. I do want to arrange that, but I don't want to really spend time doing it before I decide exactly how to set things up. Let's just run this. It comes. Okay, so, yeah, so you see that Aaron gets a turn before the boss's second turn. Um, I, I believe that's guaranteed. So even though he doesn't have SOS haste, he'll hopefully get a turn before the uh, punch attack, or like the physical attack, if he survives the photon um, wings. So let's try Brimstone. Okay, that did Poison and Darkness, that's cool. One other thing I don't know about those status inflicting elemental mixes... ...is, um... Oh, I screwed this up. I don't have a character of Sensor equipped. Yes, nor do I have a character with... Nor do I have Wacker with a Vayne Counter still alive. Alright, well this was a little silly. Uh, maybe I have... Maybe I have Sensor. No, that's Spirit Lance. I don't think any character survives this attack with a Defend. So I guess I just hope... Oh, hold on, it's Ender Darkness. No, so we actually probably are okay here. Uh... Well, it connected through darkness, that's pretty funny. I guess better it happens now than in a an attempt to care about. That was only about 8% to happen. <laughs> yeah, so I got interrupted there. What I was trying to say, I think, was... I wonder if the multi... Like, the brimstone, for example, hits three times, right? So does that mean that the infliction... That you get three rolls on the status infliction? I'm not sure. Alright, 
let's do this. This way I have Waka who's guaranteed to invade the physical attacks, and I have Yuno already with a uh, sensei item anyway. I was a little worried about the poison infliction. The fact that I'd inflicted first time is encouraging because Sanctuary Keeper does have 90% resistance. So I felt like, oh, if the infliction rate's only 100% or 150%, maybe these mixes aren't actually useful, right? But it looks looks alright. Okay, so let's just try the same thing again. This time I got poison, but not darkness. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else I got. Just poison. Hmm. So it has, it has basically 100% dark resistance, 90% poison resistance. Yeah, I guess I just tried this a few times to try and get a sense of what the infliction rate is. I feel like. Uh, there's probably a post on the game FAQ forums for the infliction rates, but I didn't manage to find it. Okay. If poison's not inflicted every time, it's a bit of an issue because... Yeah, I mean, I just it's just inconsistency I really don't want for when I'm trying the fight for real. I'll do a couple more brimstone and I just try and get a sense for whether like it's guaranteed poison or only half the time. I think what it could be is 150% infliction rate. So it's a coin flip, 50-50 for the dark, and 60% infliction on the poison. But might be wrong on that. Okay, yeah, so that was just darkness and not poison. Yeah, alright, interesting. Hey, Gekikara, how's it going? Thanks for the, uh, the good luck. I'm still definitely trying to figure stuff out right now. Those mixes I've never used, the, um, you know, trying out these elemental mixes that inflict statuses, since this is kind of the last boss that statuses like poison actually work against, I may as well try and use them. But I don't actually know, <laughs> I just don't know what those mixes do, so I'm still testing. I figured out that the lower tier status inflicting elemental mixes don't guarantee darkness and poison, which is an issue, so I'm going to try out the higher tier one. So this should be a bad in flame if I've got the items right. Yeah. Uh, does the higher tier one inflict slow? Um, on the basis of what just happened, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't sure about that. Okay, well, I I'm not going to get another turn here, am I? Yeah, I'm just going to get... Well, I guess we get to see whether it inflicted magic break. It did not. Yeah, so... Sanctuary Keeper has no resistance to slow, so unless the slow infliction was like 50% or something, we would have seen it there. But if this is consistent poison infliction, that's kind of good enough. 
it comes. Yeah, let's start from poison again, and not slow. I already managed to not be confused. Ooh, interesting. Armor break and mental break. Okay. So the f so... Huh. So it has resistance to power and magic break, but no resistance to mental and armor break. So maybe that means there's a 50% inf- I guess it doesn't actually tell me what the infliction rate is. Okay. Well this is looking kind of promising in the sense that I think this basically gives me four more mixes to inflict poison. Which, I, I mean, they don't do much damage, and like I said, the statuses just aren't that useful later on, so I don't think there's any problem with just using them all here. Of course, there's still a question as to, like, how to survive, you know, how to set up against photon wings that I need to figure out, but... It comes. Yeah, I just decided to try this first. How's your challenge going? I can't remember where you told me you got up to. I knew you were playing um, no customers, no overdrive. Well, and other restrictions, but I'm too lazy to say them. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> up to Alaska. Oh, cool. Alright, actually had our own KO to the HP damage there. I think that happens 25% of the time. Avoiding reading the strategies. Yeah, that's definitely how I enjoyed playing those challenges. Or like, the, yeah, the challenges that people have written guides for, I think it's more fun if you try it yourself. There was a lot of good information in um, Zanmato's guide on the Game FAQ forum, but yeah, you can look at it like, you know, when you've finished a challenge or whatever. I do remember learning a lot about the game from that guide. 10 years ago or so. No, I was confused again. Okay. Well, this is doing darkness and poison each time, which is good. I mean, I think, unless I've just gotten very lucky each time and it still is a low infliction rate, I think that's uh, looking good. Oh, that's interesting though. The, po the darkness wore off. Huh. Yeah, the darkness wore off after only three turns. Hmm. Good to know. I mean, I guess it's still good for both physical attacks. Which is the main thing, but it doesn't last, like, for multiple cycles or whatever. It comes. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, I don't think stuff's as missable in that challenge as people thought at one point. Like, Lifesaver, if you talk to Blitzace from his experience against BFA, I don't think Lifesaver is actually that essential or even that important.
Alright, so that's Poison and Darkness again. Nice. And it also got our momentum break. Hmm. I think it's a 50% inflection rate for the for the each break, which means it never does power or magic break, but it has a coin flip for armor and mental, and I've just won both coin flips when I've gotten as far as getting sensor. That's my reading of this. I actually can't think of anything that's really missable. I mean, stuff like Sonic Steel is technically missable, but you wouldn't not buy that. So... <laughs> it comes! The fact that Orin at base HP gets KO'd by the Photon Wing's damage is definitely an issue. Might as well go to double speed. Okay, let's check the brakes. Armor and mental break again, interesting. Uh, let me just double check the timing on this darkness. I have a vein counter, yeah. Yeah, okay, so he stays in the darkness for both of those, yeah. Alright, that's good. I think next I need to figure out what I'm doing for the opening. I've got several options, actually. I mean, yeah, the thing I can't have happen is Riku get KO'd. Oh, I didn't actually mean to load that. It no, it's, it's fine. So, the thing is, Riku can't get out of the party before Photon wings if she does a mix. So if she uses a mix, and whenever she mixes, she can't actually survive Photon wings. So the only way I can have her use a mix but not get KO'd is if she then gets petrified before by Stone Touch before Photon Wings. I can set that set that up potentially with SOS Haste. The alternative is not to mix before Photon Wings. And I can, I mean, I have mixes that revive characters, although using a mix on that and essentially wasting the number of ticks that would take seems like not a good strategy. Now let's just double check. I have two mixes left at double HP. Yeah. So I have 
super vitality that doubles HP of all the frontline characters, and then I have hyper vitality that doubles HP of frontline characters, plus gives them cheer. I don't think cheer is... Yeah, I don't really think cheer is important in this. And I, it's kind of a pain to get the stamina tonics for that mix, but I do have the items for mega vitality. So with mega vitality, I could allow any of Titus, Kamari, Waka to also survive the photon wings damage. Now oh, I have to be a little careful here. Hmm. Yeah, so I need to think a little about Spectral Keeper and Seymour Armness. There's no way for me to survive. Because I've used Hyper Mighty G, there's no way for me to survive Ultima from Armness unless I. Unless I have a double HP mix. I know that R you can set RN up to survive with an HP plus percent armor plus focus plus double HP. And that's kind of a nice battle in the sense that you're not really under time pressure. Like, he only does dispel ultimate when you've targeted him. So what I'm thinking for that fight is if I have Aaron set up to survive, I can then switch Aaron for Riku and make, you know, do a mix that revives my other two character slots. Obviously, the characters would need to have the right elemental protection equipped, but that's fine. If I don't have a double HP mix left for Omnis, I don't know how I'm doing that. I think I'm just, I think I'm just not. This is all assuming I'm using Trio for Unalaska and Quartet for Overdrive Sin, which is basically locked in at this point. So can I afford to use one of these, or do I want to save this for Spectral Keeper? I don't have a great plan against Spectral Keeper, I guess I was kind of thinking if I set up my characters to survive the Berserk Tail, for example, I could do the mix that reduced Yuna's MP consumption to zero, and if I buffed her and other characters up, then she could just heal indefinitely. There's still issues with the timing of the Glyph Mines, but I don't think there's a great alternative. I just don't have much in the way of damage dealing mixes left. But I remember when I did those calculations, I really wanted double HP on Yuna well, and other frontline characters. So I think Spectral Keeper is going to be an issue if, I, given I'm saving one double HP mix for Omnis, if I use the second one here. So let's try, yeah, I'm going to try not to use it, I guess. So then how does the start of the fight look? Yeah, then I'm back to Oren surviving Right, so then I'm back to Aaron surviving the HP damage from Ferdon's from Ferdon Wings. I wanna just check something else here, which is the damage range on Um, mana breath. Okay, so with shell and magic break. Yeah, with shell and magic break, it does a max of nine sixty two to Orin. I guess that'd also be reduced by focus, but yeah. So, but how am, how am I healing, Oren? Could have Riku mix. Um, Super Mighty G? Yeah, I still have Super Mighty G, so that's haste regen. Regen doesn't last forever, but that's fine. It would be good enough, probably.
That's haste regen, shell, and protect. So could I use that to keep, to essentially have Aaron alive as a tank? Yeah, it's really awkward because you'd have to keep changing weapon to get the regen ticks. But then that means Riku is not able to either recharge her overdrive or do mixing. Okay, let's try and set up an autosave with characters in SOS haste and try just figure out something to try. So any character who starts a battle with haste will actually get a turn before Sanctuary Keeper, even the slow characters. That's something to bear in mind. Just thinking about who I want in SOS HP. Riku for sure. Yeah. I think Riku and Waka. Hmm. So I could have I could have Riku with just SOS haste equipped. Should get it. Yeah, there's definitely timing. It's kind of the timing kind of does work out to be able to get Riku petrified before photon spray. I could always unpetrify characters after photon spray, but the problem is the fight's going to last multiple cycles. So then I'm just. Then I just have the issue that I need to re-petrify them before the next photon spray, and that starts to get unlikely because obviously I just have the risk of shattering every time I use Stone Touch, and Stone Touch is only yeah, Stone Touch doesn't guarantee petrification, obviously. So there's just realistically a limit to how much I can do that. Okay, let's go to random encounter. Let's go to random encounter and figure out how to get an SOSHP set up. You know, this is probably not a great random encounter for that. Especially because I don't already have SOS haste. Hmm. Well, we'll just try. Okay, that's good. Yeah, 
this is just going to be super awkward. Alright, well Rico's as was haste, so that's that done. So does Lulu. Yeah, I, I'm likely to get another, or I'm likely to have to reset here, I think. I maybe should have just reset on that encounter, it's just bad. God, this is bad too. <laughs> um, well, this, well, okay. I think I could make this work. I can eject this if Aaron survives. So let's assume Aaron's going to survive and try and get... Yeah, let's try and get Waku into a Swiss haste status. Yeah, so I don't have... Oh, I can switch to Booster Kector. Yeah. Alright, well, Waka's definitely an SOS status for the next fight. And Oren survives, so that's nice. I guess I want you know. I just I feel like I just want any everyone in SOS status. So I managed to achieve that for Yeah, I can achieve that for you know. It's kind of funny that Lou's magic's more useful against my own party than against the enemy. Alright, that's fine. Potentially okay. I think what I want to do. Let's do this. Yeah, let's. Regenerate some HP on Waka and Riku. Yeah, this is this is super awkward. I'm like yeah, I was about to say, I might have to get another encounter here. Oh, this is a good encounter, though. Okay. Yeah, I think I can get Kamari to SOSHP here, too. And recharge people's overdrives. 
Yes, I can do that. Nice. Okay, so Waka with rematch is invincible here. Forget how much damage this thing's attack does. It's like, I want to say it's about 1400. So I'm fine with Riku getting, well, yeah, I mean, I was trying to charge Riku's H MP, uh, HP up. I guess I just do, no, I don't really want Yin Lulu to get KO'd right now. Yeah, this is inefficient, but... Okay, it does less damage than I thought. Alright, that's fine. So I want... What do I want? I want Kamari and SOS HP, then out of the party. Which I achieve like this. Okay, so who's expendable now? I think Titus. Titus and Lulu? Yep. Yeah, it doesn't matter who gets hit here. Okay, so now I need to remember to bring Wacker back in for every attack, but I can start charging Lona. I believe Aaron has Lona Overdrive Mode 2. Not sure about that. We'll find out. Possibly should have put a bit more thought into how I'm actually winning this fight. Um, Doom, I think, actually is probably fine. Yeah, so can I use Doom and then have time to recharge Kamari's Overdrive again afterwards? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, what armor does Waka have? He doesn't have SOS Haste. Oh yeah, right, he has HP Stroll. Okay, for this fight I just want to switch back to SOS Haste. Oh, you know what I can do? I could actually use SOS regen here to get Wacker's HP up a bit. I want Wacker's HP up a bit so he survives his own damage from hitting himself with Stone Touch for the Sanctuary Keeper fight. So let's do this. Okay, so I can't take another regen tick, but this HP is pretty good now. Mario's HP is good too. Alright. Now start charging Orange Overdrive. Yeah, so this is just a little slow unfortunately. Both because of lack of haste and lack of double overdrive on Aaron, but I don't think that matters. There is a trigger for the earthquake ability, which would give me game over here, but I believe it only increases the counter if you're actually making attacks against Oku or the Mandragora. I don't think counter attacks count. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Getting Aaron's overdrive full here is nice, I think, because. I do want... I can see Banishing Blade being useful against Sanctuary Keeper in some way, so I want that option.
Alright, it's almost there. I don't think there's any other setup I need to do here. I do want Rika to have more HP. Um, but I'll have to achieve that out of the battle with HP Stroll. Okay, so here's the last Lunar uh, Charge. Okay, so Kamari doesn't quite have time to use Doom and then get out of the party, so that's fine. Anything else to do? I don't think so. I don't care about Waka's Overdrive. It's not like he has status reels. Alright, so now Kamari... Yeah, that's what we want. We want to Rage Doom. I could kill this with Stone Touch as well, but that's a little inconsistent and potentially could have issues with the, earth, the uh, Earthquake Trigger, so I believe this is the safest way to do it. I should think a little about which overdrive modes I want for my characters in the Sanctuary Keeper fight. It's not obvious. I mean, I assume I want Lona on Riku. Or maybe it is obvious, actually. <laughs> okay, it's just going to get KO'd on the next turn, so it doesn't matter what we do. I think Riku's the only character who's overdrive, so I want more than once. I would like to have Kamari's overdrive full for the option of a self-destruct. Or a bad breath. Okay, let's get the formation sorted out. Let's get... HP stroll. And HP stroll. Good. So we're probably going to get another random encounter. I basically want to walk around until Riku's HP is around... is like just under half, basically. But... Yeah, I think everything else is fine here. Okay, so 111, yeah, a little more, okay, so she now survives, she now survives a regular attack from Wacker, HP wise, I can't make her, I can't give her enough HP to, to survive a crit without getting out of SOS HP status, which is obviously bad. So I think this is probably, probably good. Wack and Kamari have good HP for being petrified as well. Okay. I can always, I mean, I can always reload the uh, save at the save sphere and get a different setup, but because of the way the autosave works for this fight, I don't get to tinker with the autosave file in the way that I did against Flux. So that's why I'm trying to just sort it out now. So what's my plan? I want to try a petrification approach at the beginning, so let's start with TKO. Magic booster, yeah. I mean, it doesn't... nothing else it matters for this fight. Okay, what about Kamari? Yeah, I think I'll start him on Spirit Lance. Being able to recharge his overdrive. Bad Breath isn't isn't super good here. I mean, it only has a 10% chance of inflicting poison, but... I don't know. There's some chance I want to recharge his overdrive. And I don't think there's a better 
equipment option. I do want someone with sensor, actually. That's something worth thinking about, isn't it? Can that just be Yuna? Yeah, I mean, silence and sleep don't do anything. So Yuna's a good candidate for that. Maybe someone else too? This should definitely be Battle Freak. This should definitely be... Pastage. Hey, Marilyn! How's it going? Don't need sentry actually. Took out Ultima and Omega yesterday. Oh, nice. That's in your game where you're, you're working towards uh, beating penance and kind of uh, maxing everything, I guess. I don't think any of these abilities do anything in this fight, unfortunately. I don't want... I don't really want Aran to be targeted by physical attack, but I guess counter-attack... Yeah, counter-attack's better than everything else I've got. TKO, fast break, battle free, case touch, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's think. We've got Orin's, Lily's, Yuno's, and Riku's ultimate weapons already. Nice. Yeah, I, I see. I see where I flame blitz for now. <laughs> I think there's a couple of options here. I could, if I switch RN for first strike Titus, I actually get two attack attempts before photon wings for petrification purposes. I don't need to have Aaron in the front line, I can have him switch in for a haste character. That actually saves me time. Unless I want Aaron in the party to get buffs from a mix. Uh, yes, yeah, there's, there's lots of options. I, I should just pick something and try it. I think I'm going to try mixing... I'm, I think I'm going to try mixing... Um, you definitely tell people in your stream about me Said it was amazing watching you. Oh damn! Well, thanks a lot. That's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's too bad I, I kind of just stream in my spare time here, and I don't have a very consistent schedule. But uh, yeah, awesome. I definitely appreciate that. Don't need bomb fragments. I want the tier two of the other elements. For the other, yeah, for the other mix, it's gonna do silence and darkness. I don't need silence grenade. So that's dragon scale, arctic wind. Okay, so I can mix all four of these in principle. That's good. Uh, 
uh, still have this issue of how I'm healing Orin, right? If I'm not using regen, <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah, I think this is something to figure out once I've got started. Whatever mix mud I want. I think I... Yeah, I want Super Mighty G ingredients. And that is... I think that's just double... Is that just double uh, curtain? Let's see. Oh, it's apparently curtain plus lightning marble. Mm, fair enough. Anything else I might want. Yeah, cluster bomb. Alright, uh, if there's other mixes I want, I'll just have to manually scroll down the list, it's not a big deal. Stamina tablet and potion for mega vitality, I'm not testing that right now. Mega phoenix is potion plus phoenix down, sure. Yeah, okay, this is gonna take some time, I, I'm not gonna... Yeah, th I'm not getting past this fight anytime soon, but I think I need to just start uh, trying things out and see how things look. So Sleepboard is sadly my best bet for Aran. Yeah, and I don't want Aran in the front line because... Yeah, so Riku I want out. I think we'll lose the most expendable character. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll plan to have this character, like Lulu, actually KO'd by the Photon Wings. I think my plan is to try and do the rest of the fight with two character slots. Alternative would be to try and petrify two characters, in which case I don't want Lulu. It's really a waste to actually... No, hold on, it's not. Yeah, I was about to say it's a, it's a waste to have, to have Riku take the first strike turn if she's mixing and being petrified anyway, but that's not true because... The time... Yeah, the time it would take her to have a turn after having petrification removed would be reduced and that's really important. So do I just have Whacker? Oh, I've realized something here. Yeah, Whacker doesn't have time to petrify himself if he's petrifying Riku. So he would get KO'd by Foot on Spray. Yeah, that should have been obvious. The problem with that is I then don't have an evade encounter character. Uh, sorry, not being very decisive here. I think I just... I think I just do... I think I just do this, because this way Kamari and Yuna both get a turn before Photon Spray and I can kind of adjust which characters I want and what I want to be doing. Sure. Like I said, I can always... I can always reload the save and play around with a different setup, even though that will take a while. It's, yeah, it's still fine. I think everything is ready here. I mean, there's no point having Slayer on Wacker, but like I said before, his overdrive just doesn't matter. Haste, haste. Yeah, Taj doesn't have haste, but that's okay. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here, but 
can play around with it for a bit. The more I think about it, the more I think that going for an offensive mix right at the beginning is actually just probably not the best best idea timing wise. Yeah, so like I said, all the characters get a turn before the bus because of haste. It's nice that happens consistently. You miss Seymour? Hey, thanks. Yeah, that was a that was a struggle. I ended up using a lot of good mixes, but I didn't really see a way around it. The videos, yeah, the videos probably still up on Twitch. I guess the buds stay for two weeks. It's, it's definitely up on my YouTube. I think on the YouTube video, I put like a timestamp for the time of the battle, so you don't have to sit through the whole stream, bud. Okay, so I definitely need to have Waka try and petrify Riku. If that doesn't work, then this attempt is just doomed. So let's get that going. Alright, well, okay, that doesn't matter then. Yeah, lots of resets coming up, I'm afraid. Oh, nuts. Now Final Fantasy is not opening properly. I don't know why this happens sometimes. It's like, when I reset the, um... Occasionally it seems like I don't get, like it, like it just hangs when it tries to reopen Final Fantasy. Uh, hmm, no, it's keep, it keeps happening. It was it was fine before. Like I open I yeah I was able to reset before then restart it just fine. There must be some just weird issue with the Steam Final Fantasy X and Windows has some problem with it occasionally. Hang on, while well, Windows reports the problem to Microsoft. Yeah, it's definitely gonna help. No, this is no good. Yeah, I don't have a way to fix this problem other than restarting my computer, unfortunately. I do want to keep streaming. Alright, I'm going to have to take a break for a few minutes while I do that. Uh, I know it's not ideal, but yeah, occasionally I just end up in this situation where my computer crashes, or not crashes, but it, like, uh, Final Fantasy just hangs when I open it. It doesn't happen that often, like, it didn't happen for the first few weeks I was streaming, but now it's happened a few times, and I don't know how to fix it. So, right, be back in five. And yeah, I'll have to shut the stream down and restart it, so sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon, and have a go at, uh, Sanctuary Keeper.